As far as bragging rights for this year's project, score one for the juniors who designed and built the catapult which launched one pumpkin 31 feet. However, all of the students were winners for helping to raise nearly $2,000 for the Get in Touch Foundation. When we come back after hitting opposing running backs, one New Jersey student athlete hits the runway looking to take off towards a dream career in the sky when High School Journal returns. Allegan when I was in college on air. Welcome back to the journal. At New Jersey's Del Barton School, students are challenged to soar in all aspects of academics and in life. It's safe to say senior Derek Flitcroft is taking that challenge to heart. Jared Greenberg reports. Each fall, Del Barton's Derek Flitcroft is hard at work, making tackles on the football gridiron. Every winter, he's tenaciously pitting foes to the wrestling mat. But year-round, he's busy battling his most challenging opponent, taking to the skies to achieve his pilot's license. A friend of mine had, had a plane, and the first time he went up, he put him in the co-pilot seat. As we were leaving New Jersey, he decided to turn the, the controls over to Derek. I thought he was crazy. He says, uh, you want to hop up here and take the controls? <laughs> I had no idea what to think. I climbed up there, I started, you know, just turning the yoke, uh, it's the controller. He started turning left and right. He flew it for about 15, 20 minutes, flying around up by Nyack and up in the Hudson Valley. He was hooked, he just kept asking when he could go up again after that forever. <laughs> An experience I can't even begin to describe. It was just amazing. I had so much fun doing it that I always wanted to, so I still am. Ever since he was a young child, he was interested in flight, cars, anything really that goes really fast. From two on skis, it was down the mountain fast, Mom. He couldn't go fast enough, so it really didn't come as much of a surprise. I just thought it was a really neat thing. We've always encouraged him to you know, embrace those dreams. I kind of figured it was just exciting. It would be a phase. He'd kind of move on past it, but it stuck. It kept his interest up in it. He was always asking when he could fly again, when he could go up again. And then he joined the Civil Air Patrol, and he got to fly a lot after that. The Civil Air Patrol is the auxiliary branch of the U.S. Air Force and prepares cadets for future careers in aviation, space, or the military. When uh, he found out that they could fly in Civil Air Patrol, he was 11. So he tried to sign up and join. The only program starts when you're 12. So he started going every Wednesday night and sat through the meetings uh, and watched and participated, but he couldn't officially be a member. So he, he was there for about nine months every Wednesday night just because he wanted to get back in a cockpit. They also provide orientation flights for free. You get up there and you get to learn how to fly the plane and it was amazing. I was able to do five of them, my first five, and I knew right from there that <laughs> this is definitely what I wanted to do. I want to check the fuel, make sure there's no impurities, we don't have anything in it. Though the Civil Air Patrol helped give him a flying start, Derek has intensely pursued his aeronautic dream, starting private flying lessons as a teen. Very rare for a student to even try that at such a young age, being 17 years old. The actual minimum requirement to get a license is 17 with the FAA. And it's, it's very demanding. You need to be proficient both with the motor skills as well as positive study habits in order to succeed. Trim tab is going to be set a little off. You don't want to touch it. I'm looking for all antennas, making sure stuff's on. See so anything broken off, could have a problem. Derek's a very good student. He's very proficient. He's well motivated. He's above the curve as far as um, hours required to solo. He's about 10 hours right now. Even though he can only, you know, devote a couple hours here a week, I know that he's doing his work at home as well. Good job. Uh, just study procedures for next next week. Right. And uh, we'll see you. All right. Thank you. Yep. Every day I'm not doing schoolwork. I'm usually reading uh, something to do with one of my textbooks that I have in my bag flying. In addition to knowing the importance of hard work both in class and in the cockpit, Derek's well aware of the value of cold, hard cash. He had an account you know, when he was a kid, you know, the savings account, you get all your gifts, all your, your Christmas presents, and he invested it. He did really well, and the only way he could fly anymore was to pay for the plane and rent the plane. 
and he decided to use his own money and he's been paying for it. By the time he's done it, it'll cost him about $15,000 to get his pilot's license. It does make me feel a little independent. It, it does. But it also makes me feel great because, you know what, this, this is my thing. This is my deal. I'm going to be a pilot and you know what, I'm, I'm going to make sure I'm the one who's going to make sure it happens. And I'm going to pay for it and I'm going to do it. For Derek and his list of accomplishments, I think this will rank very high, right up at the top. Um, if not number one, you know, certainly right up there. I wouldn't want anything other than being a pilot. You know, I love it. And, you know, I want to get my private pilot's license because I love flying. Flitcroft says he plans on not only achieving his pilot's license, but looks to fly for the U.S. Air Force. His aerial exploits have seemed to rub off on his 12-year-old brother, Aaron, who is now also a member of the Civil Air Patrol. When the journal returns, we'll introduce you to one of the most dominant chess programs in the nation, stacked with intense competitors.